What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today we're gonna to be looking at something that was sent to me for review from Giraffe Tools. This is their 50 foot air hose reel. It's a retractable air hose reel. You could mount it on the ground, on a wall, or off the ceiling. So let me show you guys everything you get and the stats for the actual unit. Here's the air hose reel. The steel on here is all powder coated. The paint feels great on this. We do have spots here for your bolts. This is the hardware they give you. This is if you're gonna mount it into concrete. We're not gonna be using this. I'll be using my own lag bolts with washers. And you can see on here on the hose, giraffe tools, hybrid hose. It's a 3 8 hose, 9.5 millimeter, rated up to 300 PSI. Very nice, flexible hose, feels good. Does have the little locking system here, which is adjustable. We're gonna be adjusting this after we mount it. And here you can see the wheels which guide the hose. And they also give you this jumper hose here, but I'm not gonna be using this jumper hose because it's too short. I, I don't get this here, why it's so short for a jumper hose. I'm mounting it on a ceiling and I'll be using that compressor there, temporary one. That's my compressor for using for, my air compressor for brad nails and stuff like that. It's only a six gallon. I'm planning on putting a bigger uh, unit here. But this is the hose that I'll be using. 25 foot hose, which I'm gonna round up on the ceiling across, come inside there and connect to that compressor. I have fittings here that I'll be using. This is fittings I've purchased. I've got these clamps where I'll be using to, to hang the actual air hose. This one here off the ceiling. Like I said, I'm using my own lag bolts. I have my tape, which I've already used here. I got some tools, miscellaneous stuff that I've been using just to get this all mounted. I got a little kit with quick connects because I'm adding quick connects on everything here. I've already added, if you could see here, this piece with a quick connect to make it easy access for the hose to go up and across. And they give you a user manual. And right now I'm using the user manual to put the actual air hose reel on top of it. So, all right, now I was gonna mount it and it had two different spots that I was gonna mount this in. First spot was right up there. So you could see I put some two by fours across and I got two of the lag bolts already in with the washers. But I decided I'm not gonna put it up there. I decided to put it here. So as you can see, I already put one piece of two by four there, reinforced on the other side on top of the plywood. It's reinforced in there. I put two of the lag bolts already in with the washers. And then I made the holes already for the other two. So I got it all set up. Reason being I did it this way, it makes it easier by those. They're not fully screwed in, those two lag bolts. There's just enough for me to slip in that right there. So as long as I could slip that in, it'll take a lot of the stress and weight off of me. And then the other two that I got here, which will go here, I'm gonna have to do it manually with a ratchet. So I'm gonna grab it now and I'm just gonna slide it in. And that right there is holding the weight for me. Let's put this down. I'm just gonna hold it in place. And now this is where I gotta grab my lag bolts here and kind of start manually putting them in. And then I'm gonna grab my ratchet and just tighten it down. The reason I have to do that is because I cannot get a drill of some sort in here. It has to be done this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put it all the way in. I'm just gonna do it about a little less than halfway so I could get the other one in and start that too. Because as this rises, I'm gonna have less room to work with. Just makes it a little bit simpler. All right, now we'll get the other side. I already got one of them in, nice and tight. And I had to use a crescent wrench to get it in there because it's just kind of difficult getting your ratchet inside there. So everything is nice and secure now. I'm gonna go on the other side. I think they're secure. I'm just gonna double check that. And there you go, you can see everything is nice and secure. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my piece that I have here. So all the threading when they ship this to you is protected. They do have plastic over them. So I'll be putting this piece inside here. But before I do that, I have to add some Teflon tape. Teflon tape is added. Now I'm going to grab my fitting and pop that on. Sorry I couldn't show you guys me putting the Teflon. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand with the camera and the other hand doing the tape. It's a little difficult. So I'm just going to tighten this down. I'm going to angle it that way towards the back wall because or probably up on an angle because the hose is going to come like this on angle then hug along the rafters here and go across so off camera i did the hose got it mounted across you can see it there 
and then I got it dropping down right over here. So I'm just gonna plug that in. But before we do that, let me show you guys here. This arm here with this bolt that you see here, I'm gonna undo it. I could actually move. So I'm gonna swivel this up because I want it to be here because I don't want to drop down like this. I want it to kind of hang down over here. You can see there, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mount it right there. Now I'm just gonna tighten it down. I think that's a good angle for it. There we go, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we'll do a test. Let's see it retract up and you can see right there with the stopper, that's where it stops and the hose is all the way down here. I'm gonna fix that. I wanna bring it up higher, this part here. So I need to drop that down. There you go, and just locks in place. So right here, let me lock it again, there we go. Right there, you do have a Phillips head screw there and one on the other side. So we're just gonna untighten that. All right, made it a little loose and now I'm just gonna pull it down. And this is where I'm gonna bring it up and figure out where I want the drop to be. So let's say there the tool will be hanging, I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower. All right, right there. I think that'll be good because I'll have the gun hanging down. It won't interfere with hitting my head as I walk by. So right there, I'm gonna tighten that down. Now over here at the end, I'm just gonna move that forward or actually back. You're gonna see there is a protective piece there. Unscrew. And over here, we will put our quick connect. Pop some Teflon on there. I usually do around four wraps. Three, four, I think that's good there. Cut that, make sure it's nice and smooth. Quick connect. And screw it down. Make sure to tighten it up nice. They do have an area here to put your press and wrench. So one there and one there and tighten it. But I will start it off by hand. I think right there. Grab this wrench, put it right inside here. Grab this one. And tighten it down. All right, let's test it out. Put that in and there we go, we got air. You hear it? Yeah, buddy. Now we'll do a test, let's retract it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Come right outside. It stops right there. I could do work out here if I need to, anything with air, put air in the tires. Then to put it back, let's give it a tug. And there we go, just comes right in. And get stopped by the ball. This is hanging down and it's perfect. It's not hitting my head. Yeah, looking good. And there you go, guys. That was the install for the Draft Tools 50 foot retractable air hose reel. Mike, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Build quality of it, top notch. Powder coated, the metal on there is beautiful. Hose feels nice, even though it's orange, I would have preferred blue, black and blue, my opinion, but still, looks good, easy to work with. This piece works good. Have my air hooked up right now, perfect. Mounting it was simple to mount. One thing is the way, and again, sorry about the plane guys. Like I said before, I have no control over the FAA. They like to fly over my house. Only when I'm recording videos for some reason. Maybe I just don't know, I forget, I'm drifting away. Anyway, the bracket, the bracket, the way it has, has on both sides open system, the way they did it. I kind of wish the bracket was a little bit bigger, only because it's hard to get a ratchet in there. Very difficult. I had to use a ratchet. I had to use my crescent tool. This also to get in there, to tighten it up. But other than that, once it's up there, it's up there. Holds great. Make sure you put your supports in. Do what I did. Put the, foot, the first two lag bolts in, so this way, and don't screw it all the way up. Leave it about maybe like a, a quarter to a half inch before it's completely tightened down. So this way you could slide the bracket, the whole hose reel in, and that'll hold the weight while you do your mark for the other two lag bolts. Mark it, 
take it down, go up there with your, uh, your gun, put the lag bolts in all the way, remove them all the way. So this way, when you're doing your ratcheting, it's not very hard to ratchet it in there because you've already made the holes. You know what I'm saying? You already made the threading inside the wood to make it simpler for you to ratchet it up. Now for me, the only complaint I have is, is this here. The jumper hose, I think this is too short. What is this, two feet? It's a two foot jumper hose. Nah, I think it definitely needs a longer jumper hose. I'm not sure if they sell jumper hoses, draft tools uh, that are longer in size. So I had bought one for off of Amazon, which I've bought this one before. I have this actually in the Florida house, the blue one that I got mounted. This one here is a 25 foot. I have a link down below. Links to everything will be down below for you guys. All the fittings that I used and so forth. Yeah, I had to buy a 25 foot jumper hose to make the, to get this job complete and some fittings because I kind of like to do it my way of doing it. And I'll bring you guys up and close up there so you guys could see why I added the fittings that attached to my other jumper hose. And there you could see why I did that. I did the 90 degree elbow, quick connect there, and then just mount it up onto the ceiling. So I didn't want, if I didn't put that elbow there, what would happen is the hose would be sticking out all the way out to here and then making the turn. So this makes it a nice cleaner look. And as you can see, I also did it here. Put another elbow there. So it's a nice cleaner look or else this hose, this would be sticking all the way out to here. So this just makes it more room for your situations. Awesome addition to this air hose setup. All right guys, I'm just about done with this video. Mike, do you recommend this air hose reel? Yeah, definitely. I think for the price, I think it's $100 if I'm not mistaken. $100 for this, I think it's a great price. Go look online at other ones. And there's some other ones that are garbage. I actually did buy a Cobalt one in Florida. That thing was just garbage. Surprisingly, I like Cobalt products from Lowe's, but their air hose reel was trash. This one here is good. For 100 bucks, this is real good. I think this is a great deal for this one here, but that's why it's $100 and you're only getting this right here. So obviously you're gonna have to spend, I spent what, $20 for that hose, the one I got? So yeah, you're gonna have to spend a little bit extra money for a jumper hose, but it all depends on where you're mounting your air hose reel. There you go, guys. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video, a like, a subscribe, and thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Lane.